Hi, this is Phil from Possible Phil Driving School. Uh, just carrying on from Crossroads, we just looked at the first uh, Crossroads at Five Ways, where we came over the marketplace and turned right, taking the second turning on the right up towards the test centre. This time we're going to approach Five Ways from coming from the Ashbourne Road end, passing Tesco Express and Premier Inn, making our way down towards London Road, where we're going to turn right to go towards Morrison's. So again, a little bit of running commentary when we're setting off, I'm going to get my car to bite, Make a good 360 degree check, checking over my blind spot. I'm not going to give a signal because nobody's going to benefit from it. And we'll move on. Up ahead T junction, going through my MSPSL routine, getting a good curb position. Notice the car on the left as we turn out, causing a bit of a bit of a problem. So I'm just going to gently ease past it. Just waiting for the junction to clear. Get a little bit of congestion up ahead, so I'm just going to ease gently off my gas. As I'm slowing down, I'm checking my centre mirror and my right mirror to make sure I'm not being overtaken. You'll notice again that in front of me where the black car is, I'm holding what's called ties and tarmac. I can see his tyres and a little bit of tarmac just before I get to the dashboard of my car. And again, what that basically allows me to do it is allows me to keep a nice safe bubble. Where let's say for example that car now in front of me broke down, I could get I could get round him. If I'm hit behind, I'm not gonna run into the car in front of me. Um, you know, if it were on a hill and he rolls back, I've got plenty of time to sound the horn. But rather than the focus and the attention being on the back of his car and his number plate. This, this way it allows me to make further observations. So up the side of the lorry to my right, looking towards five ways, I can see the lights are on green, even from this distance. Again, just before I set off, I'm going to check my right mirror to make sure nothing is coming up on my right hand side. You'll notice up ahead, you can see the lights changing to red. So I'm in no rush. I've checked my mirror again and I'm slowly moving over to the centre line where I'll now indicate right to let people know where I'm going. And again, you'll notice there is quite a big gap up ahead of me to turn right. I'm not overtaking this black car to get there. They're on red anyway. And if I was to start to move over that center line, it would just be Murphy's law that as I did, a lorry would come around that corner from the right. I'm keeping it safe. People know where I'm going because I'm positioned to the right and I've got my signal on. What I'm basically doing now is I'm looking across the junction. You'll notice the car just going through there, but just on the opposite side is a little sports car. Now, even from this distance, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the sports car and I'm looking behind it to see what's coming. I can also in the sh see in the shops on the left, reflections of cars coming down the hill. That's helping me plan. Now I have got a free road. If it was busy, I would get into onto this grid that's in the middle of the road and there's my turn okay that's the approach to five ways coming from Ashbourne Road Tesco Express London Road to turn right to go to Morrison's hope that helped see you for the next one